I think that the most important factor in the room is the example that my boss sets for everyone on the team to have an equal opportunity to speak up and to be heard. In fact, I would say he's a sponsor and a mentor, but where I think see, where I see the difference is that the role of the sponsor is particularly critical in your career. Um, he creates opportunities for me, he opens doors, he champions me to succeed, but he also challenges me. What are key success factors to really make it to the top in the technology world? Resilience and grit. And um, I think that the stereotype is that women may be less resilient um, or that they may be set back by challenges and mistakes and difficulties. And I think having that um, will to continue to try again, to try something different um, is, is critical. And I, for me, it's been a particularly poignant point because I grew up in communist Bulgaria and resilience and grit and resourcefulness were absolutely critical to people's survival in, an, in a world of very limited resources. What is the bravest thing which you have ever done in your life? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the bravest thing. So I mentioned I grew up in communist Bulgaria and when I was 18 I left Bulgaria to go to university in the US. Now, that doesn't sound very brave, but my context was that I had never left Bulgaria, I had never been on a plane, I didn't own a mobile phone, uh, Skype hadn't been invented, it was the first time I was going away from my family ever on a one-way ticket to the US. I, th I think now, in retrospect, I think that was quite brave. At the time, I didn't feel it was brave. I think we often do things at the moment that we don't feel are brave or courageous, and in retrospect, we realize, oh, that, that was actually quite cool. It was quite courageous that I managed to, to get myself to do it. A very small step in a mindset and a mindset change that I think can make a big difference. And that's simply going from, I cannot do this, to maybe I can. Maybe I'll fail, maybe I'll succeed. You have nothing to lose. So it seems small, but I think it can have a great impact. Mina, one last question. What is the biggest dream you still have for you? Uh, in, in a way, I have, I'm thinking about so many things, I actually need to figure out what um, I should narrow down on. But I think one certain aspect of my future life that I will try to achieve is social impact. I will just need to figure out whether I do it through the NGO uh, sector or through government um, or through um, a startup with social purpose. It's, it's still TBD, stay tuned. <laughs>